alone was called to be here with a message. The sky, the heavens were calling. Three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Actually, this is what time they call every day. Three o'clock in the morning, right? And this is where we're starting to honor the, you know, your templates of new earth. Because in old earth, it's like, you know, we, we even have a time that it's socially acceptable to go to bed, right? There's a socially acceptable time to go to bed and a socially acceptable time to wake up. But as we're finding out as we're worker bees, creating with the sweet nectars of life, creating the sweet nectars of life. And that's really what we're doing. We're creating the sweet nectars of life by honoring them, but also by transmuting what's not sweet into sweet nectar. This is uh, the path of the honeybee. And we know the honeybee and the hummingbird. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Now guys, this message is connected to what's happening with the full moon and i didn't know we were going to be here i didn't know we were going to be doing this and they're like you know what nicole this is what's happening we're gonna we're gonna get a message that's connected to what is going on so we can start building some patterning to figure to figure this out so they've shown me that the chariot is key right now metatron's cube and metatron's cube is releasing tension to restore motion we're doing this right now through the dark. Divine masculine, divine feminine. And right now it's connected to the comet. And it's connected, we found out, this comet is Chiron. And our connected our connection to the wounded healer. You know, many of us star seeds and twin flames came here to activate to be healers. And it's a remembrance. This is a reminder that we're not going to destroy self along the way that we're healing self. We're healing through self. You know, the mythology of Chiron, the wounded healer, is the irony is the wounded healer could not heal themselves, but was healing everyone else. Well, we're going to heal with self. We're going to heal through self. We matter. We're part of this expansion. And it's humble. It's not twisted. It's not ego. It's not like, oh, I matter more than everyone. And I no, this is not that. It's that many healers don't want to wound others and they self-sabotage. They 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 hurt they hurt self but we're honoring we're not hurting self we're going to heal through self with the divine and it has something to do with the chariot and our light our light being scattered our, we're not going to scatter our light right now and many of us have been scattering our light everywhere we're we're going to bring all of our light back into the center so we can have a rebirth and this is going to allow us to be there for others in a whole new way. It's connected to the dolphin energy. This is what they're showing me. Now remember, there's a connection right now between the Three of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces all showing up to the party. The mother energies to raise our vibration, to show us what we need to see, reflect back to us what we need to see, to heal. The water energies offer healing. And we, we know we need to make the Three of Wands with the masculine energy because the three of wands and the three of cups are going to create the tetrahedrons that we need to make through now water and fire mm -hmm. this isn't fire and earth this is water and fire doing something right now so right now there's something happening between the two of wands and the earth and the four of wands the energies of new earth manifesting and it's a connection to as you see like flowers there's flowers in here there's a connection to life there's a connection to nature there's a connection to honoring what mother earth is creating the patterning that mother earth is creating and that's there, there's a connection between these spaces and the three and we're going to find out as to why because we're going to ask the cards but it has something to do with an overabundance of the masculine energy too much sun we got too much sun now we're burned we're going to temper things this overabundance of working with the masculine of the sun energy is what created the four of it's it's what started off the four of pentacles shift and why we're healing through the earth because it blew up it blew up in our faces the masculine must work with the feminine to restore balance the positive plus the negative we're going to go within and we're going to repair now because this has happened we're repairing within our connections through 
a reconnection to the earth star chakra. We've reconnected to the earth and this is allowing us to work with our divine blueprint. This is allowing us to see what we need to see within the dark and the feminine to remember the feminine needs to get out of the box. She needs the box is prison for her. She's going back in the sphere. So here we've understood this and now we understand it. We get it. We've connected to our crown chakra through the sphere. Now we're connected to the 13 spheres of knowledge. We're seeking the information in the unknown we need to expand. We're receiving it and the masculine energy will now expand with the matter. We've restored balance. What's going on now within? We're being judged for all the work that we've done. But this is the thing. Many of us are judging self. And many of us are judging self too harshly. This is key in what they're showing me. We have to understand that Things are perfectly unfolding, naturally, and there's natural unfoldment. It's just like we have to get rid of some of this guilt and shame, guys. We have to think that we're always doing everything wrong and start surrendering to natural unfoldment. This is our mind running amok and getting in our head again. We're going to let what's naturally burning away burn away. We're going to be confident that we're actively trying every day to do our mission work. We didn't come here to be perfect and we didn't come here to judge and shame self. We're going to have compassion and tolerance for self too, which is going to allow us to have compassion and tolerance for other people. And this isn't that kind of compassion. It's just like, oh, you can go rob 16 grocery stores and we're just going to have compassion for self. No, we're creating with integrity of the light. We're not perfect. We're honoring our mistakes as repetition to learn through. We just have to act on it. We have to actively be in you know creating with integrity that we were expanding to and sometimes we're retracting sometimes we're going back to a situation sometimes we fell back on our face but we get to honor the fact that we're trying and we get to honor the fact that we're actively expanding there's a healing that has to happen here but what's happening within judgment is we're restoring balance all this work we're doing to heal from the devil energies it's going to pay out Another message is coming through too, guys. And obviously my son was supposed to stop me there for a minute so that I could see it. We got to let the past burn away because this is connected to the unspoken languages and something to do with the unspoken languages of what burns away. It's going to communicate with us. What is being burnt away is going to communicate with us what we need to see next. All right. I also want to say, guys, too, don't forget to have your new moon intentions written out. Remember, when we add the masculine and feminine energies. Um, we want to be, you know, rating out our feelings as well as our practical plan. How is this going to make us feel? You know, drawing, being creative. Let's see which one. Let's see which one I'm being called to go to today. Okay. So. Wow, that was a big one. Meeting of the two fish. So March 6th, the new moon in Pisces. Meeting of the two fish, and I drew the two fish meeting. And it's love, joy, happy. Reach out to others, inspire to heal and create. Grow school for the fool. And heal with my karmic partner and I humbly. And you know what? I was meant to flip to this page because that's what's happening. You know what? My karmic partner and I have been spending time together healing that's the gift that's been given to me and it feels good it's a gift and not to hold on to that pain and especially since we share a son together it's it's really been beautiful thank you to the universe for listening 
and um you know that was some time ago so remember too divine timing divine timing let the universe deliver to you it's not just like you know we're in manifestation and then it doesn't happen instantaneously it doesn't happen when we think it should happen programming and then we're all like yeah yeah i've done this guys i do this all the time and you know what i could have written a book on how to feel sorry for myself and boy i'm so glad that that's old self and you know what you can really see what expansions look like especially now that you know youtube has been around for a while and you can see that people have grown on youtube like i'll never forget when i first saw infinite waters from who he is today to who he was when he first started out and if any of you have checked out the videos from when we first started out here whoa i don't even know who that person was and i can see i can see that i was still in protection mode wow all right talked a lot let's see what's happening here i want to know what's happening we're believing pisces is helping us to believe to believe in the light to believe in the dark to believe in the all to believe in everything it's like yeah believe it believe it believe your healing believe in your dreams like we gotta start dreaming again the feminine stop dreaming many of us feel like we want to give up but now's the time to keep going the second house house is here we're owning we're owning through the earth we're having a third eye vision here a third eye activation that's going to lift us into new earth what we need to see of new earth the patterning of new earth so we must see the flip side of the coin this is connected to the energy of the opposites and like seeing an opposite situation. So maybe you're in conflict with somebody, but you're going to see their side of the conflict. You're going to honor their side of the truth and find the meeting within the middle. It's like, okay, I just had a situation where I had to use the dolphin energy and somebody was lying. But when I was praying to the source energy, I said, please allow that person to have reflected back to them what the you know the mess that's actually been created here but through that i will honor that i need to see what needs to be reflected back to me because i will honor that person's part of the truth as well as what do i need to see reflected back to me of my truth what did i do to you know to be a part of the situation and humbly wait for those answers and to be okay with that because it's how we're uniting. It's how we're becoming more multi-dimensional. Multi it's how we're creating within new earth. We found more tolerance. We found more compassion. We understand we came here to make mistakes. Nobody came here to be perfect. We have, you know, good and... <laughs> we have good and bad everywhere. Dark and light. Yin, yang. Polarized world. Just understanding nobody came here to be perfect. You know, we're not all walking Jesus's. Mother Teresa's. We're shape shifting and we're expanding and I ha I had to honor the truths that were reflected back to me and take responsibility for the part I played in it. And I did have a part to play in it. It allowed me to heal through the situation. Now, do I want that person to be a part of my life anymore? No, I don't. Lines were crossed. But I hold space for them with love and I see what I did to be part of the situation and I know that I won't ever make those choices moving forward and learn from my experience we're gonna make a sacrifice to see through our illusions and there's our connection to Pisces because something is being gifted to us we're making a sacrifice of our illusions our addictions, this sacrifice is connected to addiction. So, you know, self-sabotaging behavior. Well, everything we started off when we first started off with this reading. Self-sabotage. We're not going to self-sabotage. We're connecting to the energies of new earth, Aquarius. We're going to heal with the star. We're going to heal with the water energies. But we're going to add some air. 
to dry things off. The sword's energy. We're going to dry it up quick. And the Grand Cross is here, the provoker. And we, of course, we're being provoked to finish paying off our life's debts, to finish balancing our karmic scales, to have our endings. We need strength for something. We're being... They showed me within this tarot that we're facing a situation, the shadow energies, whatever is happening with us and our transformations with strength. Okay, guys, so while I was shuffling, this is the message that they just showed me. We need our strength. We need our strength to face ourselves, to face our ego, to face what's happening here. This alchemy between this part of ourself, the beast part of ourself, the animalistic part of ourself, and the light part of ourself, you know, and remembering that we're light and dark. And, you know, we're a combination of both. And, you know, this is really three things. That's what they're showing me is the representation. Remember, we're multidimensional. We're more than one thing. Destroying to create, creating to destroy. This is connected to the world. And they've shown me this is the coming together of the masculine and feminine. And it's happening in the 3D. And what it is, it's because it's we've picked healing. We're healing and we're listening to the unspoken energies here. These unspoken energies are connected to air, what we can't see, but we're transforming with them. And it has something to do right now with the Three of Cups. This message will be connected to the Three of Cups and the creation of the Three of Wands. Because that's what we're doing here. And we know these three cups are connected to the two. And look, the two are being full, filled right now by the connection to the Ace of Cups. And La Luna is helping us to do this. What the masculine is doing right now. So this is the feminine. This is our connection to Scorpio. Cancer and Pisces, okay? And they're working together to help us fill these cups right now. The masculine is working on creating this three of wands, but this is through the ten of wands and it's understanding how do we make the three? What are we putting down in order to create the three, okay? And what's going to happen is that strength of the situation that we're facing, we're going to come together through the energies of the world, the tenth house. It's time for something. It's time for something and we're going to find out what it is. What is it time for? Okay, I'm being called to use this deck. What is it time for? Okay, we're getting a reshuffle. What is it time for? What is it time for? This has a connection to do with Mercury being in retrograde. And it there's a time for communication. They're showing me it has to do with communication and the North Node. The fourth house are roots. We know that there's a recalibration happening to, here through the earth. That's our connection to the four of pentacles. Oh, great, guys. Wow, this card really... Mm, of course. Let's just show that. And then we're going to discuss what has happened here because there it is. Okay. And it's happening through the body. And there's a transformation. And it's connected to the season and this. And it does have something to do with our routine. Okay, guys, let me see where this card went. Oh my goodness, I wish I want to show you guys how it landed. I need to show you guys how it landed. Okay, come on down here. There it is. Read here. Let's find out together. It's guys. It's the ninth house. Having faith. We're going to discuss this right now. Let me get resituated and sit on down. 
Guys, the divine exists. And you know what? These are the moments I wish you guys were just here with me so you could see this all go down. But this is honoring that this is my path here, sharing it with you guys as we join together to heal, harmonize, and raise the vibes. As you can see, the ninth house is number 33, a manifestation number, a number that we are using connected to mastering of self. 33 is a master number. We travel some of us forever to seek other states other lives other souls now i wanted to show you guys the cards on the bottom of the deck first because i was called to do so in seeing that it was the ninth house i wish we just would have gone straight there because everything was answered but the messages were supposed to come out exactly how they were and i need to honor that okay perfection is artificial natural is natural unfoldment the ninth house in astrology is the house position for the sign Sagittarius. Look at that. We're going to hit our mark. We're going to hit our aim. We are adding the positive to the negative. This is our connection to the nine of wands. This is ruled by planet Jupiter, the planet of openness, luck, and expansion. This area of the traditional horoscope wheel is the house of travel, philosophy, high-mindedness, and also religion. The ninth house represents a search for meaning through established structures. Things to do with government and religion may come up about whenever the ninth house is included. And this is what we're healing from. Government and religion and where things got warped and twisted through corruption. Destiny, fate and karma will all come into play. As well as your view of what God may or may not be. This is the house of erudite knowledge and guys this means we have great knowledge in learning in expansion okay of higher learning lawyers doctors and astrologers it is most definitely of the higher mind and our need to unite with something greater and this is what we're doing through our times of old earth breaking apart and being put in separation we are uniting with something greater we're uniting with source energy god creation through the ninth house through our faith representing churches schools especially ones that are old established and scholar scholarly because guys this is the site that opposes the third house of communication and writing the ninth house represents publishing and influences through the written word it speaks of a forum for written ideas and concepts also of joining the rep reputable literary world so this is the house of importance in the matters of writers or anyone who wishes to bring their ideas into forum. Usually planet wide it is the house of open ranges, journeying and opportunity representing the esoteric matters like psychics, psychic fairs, the new age, counterculture, gatherings or places where offbeat people gather together for some visionary cause. It also represents the relevance of obtaining psychic information. Look at this, guys. This is... We're going to broadcast what we've been doing. We're going to re-rate things. This is re-rating things from the old to the new. Through our education system. Through our... You know, here we heard law, schools. It's beautiful. Occasionally, this indicates a temporary disconnect from close family where you depart from your known life into another one as a pilgrim or a seeker. And this is where things... We're going to drop the mic, okay, guys? Look at this. Corresponding tarot card. The Three of Wands. We've done it. We've created the Three of Wands. Wow. That's all I'm going to say is wow. The divine is real. This is going down. And you know what, guys? Let's see what our connected messages are. And let's say a special thank you to the Black Moon Astrology Cards by Susan Shepard for helping us to receive this message today, guys. Lit. Just lit. Happiness all the which way around. Thanks for joining us, guys. There's going to be a link for part two down below in the description. See you there, everyone.